Ramirez is the mother of two busy boys. It doesn't take much to get them moving. Her challenge is to slow them down. We're outside all the time, so staying active is definitely a, a big part of our lives. Not all kids are as on the go as her sons. Nationally, inactivity and weight gain are adding up to a hefty problem. Childhood obesity is a growing problem. We're looking at somewhere around in 30% of our uh, pediatric population, that's children under 17, are described as overweight or obese. And with it comes all sorts of typically grown-up diseases. We've seen an increase of a variety of complaints. Pretty much anything you see in the adult population, we've been seeing down into the pediatric population. That includes cardiovascular disease. New health guidelines recommend testing kids' cholesterol level at least once between the ages of 9 and 11 to get a read on their heart health. We would rather um, start with the younger child who hasn't reached to the point that they're really overweight and start to test for those things. Counseling, those things are starting to crop up. Hit them at lower rates, just a little bit of elevated blood pressure, just a little bit of sugar out of line. That would be the ideal thing. The old approach was to test only high-risk children who were morbidly obese or had a family history, but that targeted screening missed more than 50% of the children with high cholesterol. Well, you can't tell to look at somebody, so a skinny mini might have uh, elevated blood cholesterol or high blood pressure. Sadly, if the diet is poor, that doesn't mean that a slender child is going to necessarily escape the issues. With all she has to keep track of, Mary didn't expect cholesterol to be one of them. In a way, I guess it's kind of surprising, but then when you see a lot of the kids and their lifestyles nowadays, maybe not so much. An elevated level defined as a score of over 200 should move parents to take action. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.